Mrs. Roberts from Palm Crest in fifth grade, and today I'm going to show you how to multiply a mixed number using partial products. This is found in chapter 7. If I start with 1 and 3 fourths, and I'm multiplying by 2 and 1 third to find an unknown, uh, the first thing partial products method has you do is break it into a whole number and a fraction separately. So I'll start with 1 and 3 fourths and 2 and 1 third. 1 times 2 is 2. One time, uh, 3 fourths times 2 is 6 fourths. 3 fourths times 1 third is 3 twelfths. And 1 times 1 third is 1 third. Step 2 is to find common denominators. So I'll bring all my fractions over here to the right. 6 fourths, 3 twelfths, and one-third, and um, the whole number I can leave out for now. Um, six, four, three-twelfths, and one-third, uh, I'll have the common denominator of 12. So to get six-fourths into, uh, to change six-fourths to have the denominator of 12, I would multiply, multiply by three to get 18-twelfths. Three-twelfths can remain the same, and to multiply one-third to get uh, the denominator of 12, I would multiply by 4, so my fraction would be 4 twelfths. The last step is to add all my partial products together. So I'll come over and bring my whole number 2 down, plus 18 twelfths, plus 3 twelfths, plus 4 twelfths, and I get my answer 2 and 25 uh, twelfths. I can simplify this and change it into a mixed number by dividing 12 into 25, and I get 4 and 1 twelfth.